Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Situation, yeah, unchanged really. We have a bit of upside today, very, very little upside though. Um, that's in line with what we talked about in the previous video, so we are going to zoom in in a minute. Um, overall, still the idea that off this April high, we've been coming down in an A wave, we made a B wave high, and we're now coming down in a C wave. The C wave consists of a five wave structure, okay? So we have our wave one, we have our wave two, we have our wave three, we have our wave four, and we could now really be in this fifth wave. Um, and now it's time to zoom into this fifth wave. By the way, we have relevant support areas at 25.3K and 23.9K. They are the Fibonacci support areas for this wave two. But of course, you know, there are smaller support areas in between. They're just the main ones. Yeah, looking at this now, so this is not getting interesting because I'm looking at this move down as um, as an ending diagonal, okay? So the wave one is a three wave move, the wave two as well, the wave three as well, the four as well, and the five as well. So looking at this, my reading is that we had an impulse down from yesterday. So I consider this the A wave of the third wave. And we could now be in the B wave of the third wave with standard resistance between the 50% retracement and the 78.6 retracement. So between 26,680 and 27,150 with a golden ratio in between at 26,876. In a different interpretation, this year could already have been the third wave. Okay, so I just want to point that out. Um, let's check Fibonacci extensions for that third wave. So we reached here nearly the 1.618 extension. Um, it's fine, you know, it, it doesn't need to go any lower. This could have been already the third wave. I just want to point that out. It is not needed that this was the A wave of the third wave. Um, that would mean if we are now in the fourth wave, that the next wave down would be the fifth wave. Bear in mind, in an ending diagonal, an overlap between waves one and four is basically nearly expected. Yeah? Um, and that means the next low could be the last one. So the, I, yeah, I just point that out, um, but it doesn't make any difference in the short term because even here we expect a fourth wave pullback or a B wave, resistance level is very similar. So from that point of view, not really any change. It's just that, just be aware, this could have already been all of wave three. Um, and if you think, well, but you can count an impulse, I can count an impulse, that's true but you can count every impulse as a correction as well. It's just considering context. This is, in my opinion, yes, a five wave move down, which is why I consider that an A wave, but this also counts nicely as a WXY. So we have three waves down into the middle, wave W, X, and three waves down in a Y wave. So that's possible as well, okay? Just, just be aware of that. Um, but again, it doesn't make any difference in the short term. So all eyes now need to be on the resistance area. And as long as we stay below 27,150, the focus can remain on lower. If that is then the C wave or the fifth wave, we need to see, okay? Overall, my expectation for the end of this correction is still between 25 and a half and 24 and a half K. That can still shift a little bit. I'll keep you updated though. It depends a little bit on how high the wave four goes or the B wave then, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, so expectations are for a little higher though, still. Uh, also that, you know, also this kind of B wave here to the upside would not necessarily happen in a straight line. So also here, you just need to be um, ready that this could be up and down a little bit, you know, um, because also a B wave, or if it's a wave four, it would be the same subwave structure, would typically consist of three waves. So we're looking for, yeah, basically an ABC structure in wave B. Um, at the moment, I have three waves, but we haven't really reached the 50% retracement. Again, it doesn't need to get there necessarily because it's a corrective wave. So the trend is down. So any upside here might be quite weak, but still though, the expectation would be to get there. Yeah. Um, I don't have a very good view of the subdivisions here. We just need to see, I mean, yeah, surely this could be the A wave, the B wave. We're now pushing higher in C, but we'll see. Um, 
expectation is that as long as we stay below 27,150 to still head down lower. Above that level, the bottom might be in, but I have no strong evidence yet at this stage that that is the case. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you can find additional content there um, every day and you can find the links for those channels in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.